Okay guys, I don't have a whole lot of time, but I thought, because I do have a little time, I should go ahead and make my dating a straight girl as a trans guy uh, video. And I should have probably cleaned my room before if I had thought about it, but I didn't. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Alright, so first off, I would say me personally, I idealized dating straight women like nothing else. I thought that was the pinnacle of relationships, like all my life's problems would be solved if I had a straight girlfriend. And um, it is pretty great, do not get me wrong, it is. Um, and yeah, it was definitely probably what felt like the best fit, um, but you know, it's obviously not the end-all be-all. Um, <laughs> I mean, you can date any type of woman and be happy as long as they're your type, right? Um, I would say, first off, that it is very validating to date a straight girl as a FTM, you know what I mean? She has all these cisgender guys to choose from, and she chose you. Um, and so with that, like, just, like, they have put a lot of thought into this, you know what I mean? If they were aware that you were trans before you guys started dating. Um, so with that being said, dysphoria is kind of a two-edged sword, because on one hand, yeah, they've put a lot of thought into you know, your situation before they decided to date you if they were aware that you were trans before you started dating. So there's not really a reason to be dysphoric because it's not like you gotta break the news to them. However, if you weren't out to them um, before you started dating, uh, I mean, it, it may or may not be a deal breaker, but if it is a deal breaker, you know, you're not gonna wanna date someone for whom that would be a deal breaker. Um, I personally would tell that person maybe like three weeks into it definitely before you have sex okay that's not that's not the time to be like oh surprise um oh and then uh sorry the straight girl i dated was alexis uh i we started talking on november 4th and i asked her out on 12 12 12 because you know super sleek like that and we went out till february or march february Feb february um, and then we were on and off just because of her family. It was the reason that we broke up. And then now, yeah, I just, anyway, so, sorry. Okay, getting to the point. So, yeah, dysphoria, kind of two-edged, because then on the other end of that two-edged thing, you're comparing yourself to cisgender guys exclusively. I mean, that was what was hard for me in dating a bisexual, is that half of comparing myself to cisgender guys. And when you're dating a straight girl, that's all there is um, to compare yourself to. But, I mean, the fact that this girl is, has expressed interest in you should really be validation enough. I mean, that does feel great. Um, but when you do dis get dysphoric, I mean, I feel like when you have a straight partner, maybe it's the most difficult for them to understand. Um, because while in my previous videos I've, um, you know, said that I believe that the T should be severed from the LGB, and I do firmly believe that, um, when you date a lesbian or when you date a bisexual, they can... Um, identify with uh, being discriminated against for being a minority and having that otherness, you know, whereas, you know, Alexis, for example, white, female, heterosexual, like, you know, there's, she hasn't experienced that really to any extent. Um, you know, and then the other thing is, uh, when I, when I dated Carolyn, she hadn't come out as lesbian yet, so, you know, she was called a lesbian for dating me, which is bullcrap, obviously, but it happened, and, um, luckily it didn't really happen to Alexis, except for her family, um, so, unfortunately, that it can be, you know, a side effect that, you know, you should be aware of, and it sucks, and there's not too much you can do as the guy, but, I mean, it's something that both of you should be aware of, and maybe have some comebacks ready for um and otherwise i mean it is also it tends to be a lot of educating on your part but that can be in any relationship and i wouldn't consider that a con either um so i mean also especially if you've been on tea and everything man do not and you're in the closet like go after the straight women i idealize them i get it like you know they seem like such this unattainable thing like this perfected reality. One, they're not that. And then two, yeah, you can totally, totally go after them, okay? And they're not out of your league just because they're straight. You know, straight girls are your territory if that's where you want to be. So have that confidence, you guys. You got this. And I got a text because me and my friends are hitting up the mall. Um, so yeah, dating straight women, you guys. Go for it is the moral of the story. Um, and I am technically 11 months on testosterone today, but I'll make another video about that.
in a few days, probably. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.